Hello YouTube, Dr. Sola coming to you from Ogun State, Nigeria, not Lagos this time. And someone who loves watching me is laughing because he's used to hearing Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. So we're, now, we're headed to a farm where you're going to see what I'm about to show you on a large scale. And it's going to be powered by solar. You can see lots of solar panels here. I'll show you the batteries outside, but let's, let's talk about what we have here. So what we have here is aquaponics, um, growing plants in water, water without soil. Without soil. Yes. Okay, so that's the big thing. That's the big thing. That's the new big thing. So you can see this is lettuce. So this is a little experimentation he's doing, and I'll take you through the little steps. That's if you, that's if you social media, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so here is lettuce. Um, what feeds the lettuce is, you can see the water is coming from there, there into here, and this water has nutrients in it. And then, as you can see, there is no soil. Can I take one out? Can I take one out? See, there is no soil, and you can see the roots. So that's how this grows. Everything grows in water, no, no pests, no nothing. You can take it out and you can eat it directly. In Nigeria, it's very difficult to get lettuce that doesn't have soil, or lettuce that's very good quality. So let me take you through. So the nutrients are provided by fish. And you can see, he has quite a few fish in here. You can see them, right? So their poop is what serves as the nutrients. Now you can see he's pumping some um, air into it. That's what these are. It pumps air into it, so it's always aerated. And then he runs it through media here. A mechanical filter? A biofilter. A biofilter. And then what comes out is much cleaner than what started out there, but it's nutrient rich. And that's what allows him to grow this. So the next place we're going to go now is picture this being done on a huge scale. That's what we're going to go look at. So now I'm at the farm further deep into Ogun State. And you can see the greenhouses. This ground green. Well, when I get closer, you see what I'm trying to show you. They're trying to get electricity. So you can see that last mile connection is what they're waiting for. So let's go in. And then you get an idea of what we're talking about. So this is pretty impressive. So it's all aquaponics, growing plants without soil. So there's going to be, it's going to have fish and it's going to have plants. And let me get you closer to show you what we're going to be running on solar. So you see these fans? These fans will be running on solar. And the fans will manage the temperature inside the greenhouse. <laughs> I know you. So as you can see, it's still under construction. This is pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. The fans are just here to keep to manage temperature of this place. There's a lot of them. Let me go here. Jack. So does that look familiar? Batteries, diners batteries. You see me use them. We are going back to them shortly and I'll explain to you what the plan is. We are going to go to where they are going to keep the fish and the fish will provide nutrients that will feed the plants that are going to be in there. So the goal is to maintain 28 degrees Celsius. Okay, 24, 25, 26, 27 degrees Celsius. And as you could see from what I showed you earlier, that would be a real difficult challenge to maintain. You guys move to the side so I don't have you in the video. Thank you. So they're going to have to keep the temperature of that place at 24 degrees to grow the lettuce and whatever, um, whatever vegetables they want to plant, what they want to grow. So in order to do that, they're going to have a wall. Okay, and it's a cooling wall. And this is the media that's on that cooling wall. They run water, they drain water through it, and then they blow air through it, and that air is what's going to keep the room cool. So if you can see, they have boxes of it. 
and that's how they intend to keep the temperature of the area down. It's amazing. You know, if we think after the, out of the box, we can be incredibly ingenious. It's just getting us to think out of the box as a challenge. So now he doesn't have to do air conditioning. All he's doing is using water and um, air to keep the temperature of the area cool. Brilliant. So sorry for the lighting, but you can see that there are solar panels here. Quite a lot of them. There are about 110 of them, 410 watts. So let me see if I can show you, get a closer look. Jinko 410. You see that? So there are about 110 of them at the farm. You can see there are more here. There are more here. The batteries are already in, in. Come and see the batteries here. And then this is the room where we're going to be installing the inverters. So here is. Oh, oh the lighting is just really poor. Here. Come here and see them. So here is one set. Unfortunately, lighting is not good enough for you to see the second set. So let me see if I could. Yep, here's the second set. So there are 15 B4850s, so 15 times 28, 2400. So that's 36 kilowatt hours, 36 kilowatt hours each. And then, we, remember my three phase inverter from way back when? This is it. Could you hold this one please? So this was a three-phase inverter, which manufacturer whose name I will not mention, but you know who I'm talking about. And then here is our battery, um, our battery breaker. So all uh, Dynas actually supplied a very good quality battery breaker. So all your cables are coming in here, and then you could disconnect um, the battery from the inverter from here. So the inverter will go in here. Um, the batteries. I'm sorry, it's not very clear, but you get the idea. So I'm pretty psyched. We started, we started work on this. Uh, we're going to have a carpenter build a cabinet so that we're able to hang the inverter on the wall. As you can see, the wall is, the wall is very hollow. So whatever we put in cannot, be, cannot stay in there. So we're getting something built to allow us to mount three 12 kilowatt three phase inverters because his pumps and his fans are three phase. And I'm pretty psyched. Um, when this is done, I'll come back and do a video on the solar side. But today I'm here to do a video on the farm side. What I like is you can see this bus bar. These are the bus bars that allow you to connect the positives. You see them? It's a bus bar. Um, and then here are the bus bar for the negatives. You can see them. Pretty neat, and then here is so this allow the reason why we use bus, they use bus bars is to allow you to push um, very high current, high amps through that. So this allows you to put pretty pretty high amps through it. Um, pretty standard fare for the batteries. Uh, they are 4850s, 2.4 kilowatt hours each, and then they're connected in parallel, and then connected from each um, from each battery to a bus bar. And the reason why we do it through a bus bar is because we're going to push in really high current through this. So if you multiply this, uh, 15 by 25 is a lot of current you could push through. It's more than close to 400 amps. So I'm excited. Um, once again, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Ogun State, Nigeria. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. Sorry for the lighting. Uh, we've not connected, we've not done any lighting connection yet. So till that happens, we'll be in the dark. Hopefully next week. When I come back, there should be power here. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. If you had to subscribe, please click the subscribe button. Once again, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Ogun State, Nigeria. Where are we again? Ogun State, Nigeria.